Um, so Johnny, uh, point of peace tonight. Uh, in the end, satisfied, contempt, disappointed. What are your overall feelings about the game? Oh look, the, the effort was great. I'm satisfied with that. Uh, disappointed with the result. Uh, the game should have been done and dusted in the first half, and it wasn't. Uh, credit to Kim, they came back second half, they uh, made a fight of it, and, and uh, you know, we, just, we just had to work through that, we couldn't. Um, but you know, if, if, you, if you score three or four goals the first half, you just shoot them, then uh, the game becomes a different ball game in the second half. Obviously, uh, the game ended up on a bit of a sour note with Matt Fertel. Can you give us an early prognosis or is it too early to tell? We're hoping that he hasn't got any concussion, but um, we're giving him some tests now. Um, obviously, he had a major hit in the first half, um, but to his credit, got up. And expected to, but he did. And, uh, but then he hit the ball on top of his head, one of the headers outside in the second half, and um, yeah, he, must have, he must have felt down. The thing is, it brought to attention was the was his, were his teammates, so he was as well. So, uh, we took him off to the plane now. So it's not a knee injury, it's a head injury? No, no, it's a head injury. Head injury, yes. How do you go about rectifying the finishing issues? I mean, it's something you can't really train because the situations are so much different. How do you think you go about it? Look, look, it's, uh, it's, it's hard because you can work on it at training all the time, but we, we, we work at training um, on build-up and finishing. So it's, it's always there. It's always, finishing's part of training all the time. So, you know, that's what, that's what it's about. But it's just one of those things. It happens in games where, you know, the, just that final little ball wasn't that inch perfect. You know, in other, other games, the person has a weak shot goes in the top corner. And it's just one of those things. But, you know, look, oh, okay. The boys, were, the boys were great again in the first half, we were, we were superb. And, you know, it's just another little glitch we have in the second half where we tend to fall. I think the way teams play against us is that long ball stuff. We've got to, um, got to handle that. You know, we handle that okay, but still, um, you know, puts us out of the game in the sense of you know, teams won't play, come up and play against us. They'll, play, they'll try and play over us. Uh, and we've, we've just got to keep on playing our game and keep wearing teams down. And, Hopefully, the entire amount of great chances. How preventable do you think their goal was for the case of not closing down the person who brought the ball into the box, not closing down Carly with the yeah, shot? What do you think? Yeah, oh, look, it's. it's... <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's one of those things that, you know, uh, nine times out of ten, he would, he would be closed down, but, you know, he, 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 he got on the floor for the good ball, and, um, you know, they, they got on the end of it, which was disappointing, because we, we were 2v1, and we should have done better, but, uh, that's football today, and, uh, you know, you, you, you take, you take it, you, you know, the last week, we'll like it, you know, and it's today, we're like, I suppose it balances itself out, that's football. You're going from one big game to another with South Melbourne like on Tuesday. Uh, tell us uh, what you thought uh, going into that. Yeah, look, it's, I mean, everyone's build this game is the biggest game in the show, and all this sort of stuff, but, you know, for me, it's, 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 it's a... It's a game that's going to happen anyway. Even if it's South or someone else, it's, it's still a big game because it's, it's, what, it's what you're playing for. It's not who you're playing against, it's what you're playing for. You're playing for the final 32. So, you know, we're, we're, we're looking at that more than who you're playing against. We know South is a big team and, you know, they're, they're on top of the ladder and, and uh, you know, we're second. But, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll just go out there and do what we have to do to get to the final 13 because we desperately want to get a taste of it again as we did a couple of years ago. Um, I know tonight was a big game, obviously, coming up against a strong team like Hume City, but given uh, what's on stake on Tuesday night, uh, was it a bit hard for the players not to have maybe one eye focused on Tuesday night, given uh, what a big game it is? Well, that's a good question. I'm, maybe some players have their, their eye on that too, yeah, but we always, you know, everyone's keep talking about the game on Tuesday. And we, Talk about they were talking about Tuesday and we forgot about Friday, so we put that to bed quickly because we said, boys, there's a, there's a, there's a game with three points to be played, so we've got to worry about that. Look, they'll pump themselves up, they'll get ready for it, they'll motivate themselves, they know what it's at stake, and I presume the South players will do the same, and you know, we hope to be a great spectacle, and uh, we have, hope to have a lot of people here. And do you feel like, uh, given the grand final success of last season, given the season opening victory against them, and even though you lost to him uh, last time out, you certainly created plenty of chances, do you feel like you have the wood over South Melbourne? No, not at all. I mean, it's uh, South's um, one of those teams that, uh, you know, they, they had the wood over us at the start, uh, early on. Which when, I, when, I was, when I was coaching, when I started coaching Bentley, but, you know, now we've, we've sort of got a bit above them, but... Yeah, I think it's fairly even. It's going to be, you know, it's going to be a great match, and um, you know, can't, I know a lot of people can't wait for it, especially our boys. Just off the halfway mark of the year, how would you grade the season so far? 
Yeah, yeah good. good. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, someone said to me that you'd be sitting second at the halfway and just above, you know, just above the halfway mark. So I'd take it, absolutely. And, uh, you know, we, look, for us, every game is a final. And we saw today it was a battle. And uh, we, we're going to have these games throughout the year. We just, obviously, the chances we get, it's going to be a game of few chances throughout the year. And we've got to be better in that and, and, uh, and finishing teams off with uh, today that wasn't one of the days. I'm guessing on Tuesday the grass will be uh, kind of steps up in. <laughs> you know, I'll make sure that the whole week Chris Taylor will be sitting and maybe fall into it or something. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, look, that on look, camera? We, uh, yeah, you can put that on camera. I mean, Chris knows I'm joking. But, uh, yeah. Nevertheless, um, yeah, it's, it's, it, yeah, we'll, we'll have everything ready, ready to go for the game. So, yeah, we can't wait. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks boys.